children. Today I am here to speak few words on National Science Day which is observed on 28th February every year. On 20th February 1928, one of the greatest Indian physicists, Sir Chandrasekhar Venkatraman, announced his novel discovery on the scattering of light, which came to be known as the Raman effect. It was a very important discovery that earned him a Nobel Prize in 1930. National Science Day promotes science and technology and its flexibility in our daily life. It also encourages scientists, writers, students and other who are involved in the promotion of science and technology. So now let's see a young scientist of our school performing the experiments hello my name is radhika sachin tayaka from 4c today i am going to show you a experiment on floating egg friends what happened when we put an egg in a plain water will it sink or float let's check for that we need a glass of plain water A spoon, an egg, and a bowl of salt. First of all, we need a glass of plain water. Then we will place an egg in it. What can you see? The egg sinks in water because. The egg is heavier than the water or we can say the egg is denser than the water it causes the egg to sink in water Now we will put lots of salt in it and 
Smother on two different paper towels with spray bottle. Place two different paper towels in Ziploc bag. Place soak beans on paper towels and close both the Ziploc bags. on one Ziploc bag and B on another. Place A Ziploc bag in a warm sunny spot and B in a dark place. Friends, add water to the paper towels if they dry out. Observe them for 3 to 5 days. After 3 to 5 days, you will see germination in Ziploc bag A. That means seed is sprouting its root with the help of sunlight. Whereas due to absence of sunlight, we cannot see germination in Ziploc bag B. Through this experiment, we have learned that Seeds do, do not need soil, rather they need sunlight, air and water to start germination. Bye! Hello friends, this is me Arno Pavekar from 3rd A. Can you make rain at home? Yes, it is possible and I will show you how. These are the things we we'll need. A glass hot water, a plate and two ice cubes. First, pour some hot water into the glass. Please take care of the pipe handling the hot water. Now, put the plate on it. And now, There's warm air inside the jar. Because of this cold plate, the warm air, the moisture condenses and forms water droplets. The, it's the same thing that happens in the atmosphere. Warm air rises to the top and meets cold air, where it condenses and forms precipitation. That falls to the ground. Friends, this is the easiest way to learn about water cycle. I hope you enjoyed my video. Have a great day. National Science Day must be observed with the same intelligence every year. It should not be limited with the science fraternity, but also have the participants of various walks of life. Thank you children and have a nice day.